case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A 2010 case, United States v. Mohammed, heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit, revolved around the legality of a traffic stop and search. The court decided that law enforcement may conduct a traffic stop and search if it is reasonable under the circumstances and only constitutes de minimis intrusions on the defendant's liberty. Elias Muhammad was convicted of conspiracy to commit mail fraud for selling fraudulent Missouri commercial driver's licenses. During a traffic stop, Minnesota State Patrol Corporal Robert Frisbee noticed Muhammad appeared nervous and had loose door panels inside his car. Despite Muhammad declining a search, Frisbee ran a drug dog around the car due to reasonable suspicion. Muhammad challenged his conviction on the grounds that the verdict instruction included overt acts not alleged in the indictment and that the search violated his Fourth Amendment rights. While the lower court erred in including overt acts not specifically alleged in the indictment, the Court of Appeals affirmed Muhammad's conviction, deeming the search legal. The court upheld the mail fraud conspiracy conviction as the indictment provided sufficient notice and allowed for a proper defense. The government only had to prove Muhammad's knowing participation, not an overt act. The court decided that the traffic stop, search, and verdict instruction were legal and did not affect the trial's outcome. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.